Hey everyone, it's Carl from the Renko Trading Channel. Welcome back. Today, we're diving into how to set up and use Renko charts in Thinkorswim, step by step. If you're curious about using Renko in Thinkorswim for cleaner trends and less noise, you're in the right place. Let's get started. For anyone new here, Renko charts are a unique way of visualizing price. Unlike traditional candlesticks that rely on time, Renko bricks are based only on price movement. This helps filter out the noise and lets trends shine through more clearly. They are a great tool for spotting momentum and avoiding choppy markets. Now let me show you how to set this up in Think or Swim. Open Think or Swim Charts tab. Click the gear icon. Go to the Time Axis tab. Under Aggregation Type, select Range. Now choose a suitable time interval, for example, 5 years. Under Price Range, you can adjust the brick size either ATR-based or a fixed value. We'll select ATR here in this demo. Under Range Type, select Renko Bars. Hit Apply and OK. That's it. Your chart will now render in Renko format. In Think or Swim, you have two options for setting your Renko brick size. ATR, that is, Average True Range, which automatically adjusts the brick size based on recent price volatility. Or a custom fixed value, which you set manually, and that stays the same regardless of market conditions. Both have their place. I personally like using fixed sizes for consistency when backtesting or applying strategies. Since the brick size doesn't change, it's easier to track performance and spot repeatable patterns. That said, ATR-based bricks can offer different benefits. The brick size automatically expands during volatile periods and contracts when the market calms down. This makes it more adaptive, helping you filter out noise in fast-moving markets while staying responsive in slower ones. Now if you go with a fixed brick size in Think or Swim, here's something important to know. You need to enter the size in ticks, not dollars. For stocks, one tick equals one cent. So, if you want a 50 cents brick, you'll enter 50 ticks. If you want a $5 brick, that's 500 ticks. And for a $10 brick size, you'll enter 1000 ticks. So just remember, whatever fixed value you want, multiply it by 100 to convert dollars to ticks for Think or Swim. A quick heads up, Think or Swim Renko has some limitations. It doesn't support strategy testing on Renko charts directly. You can't script custom indicators that work specifically with Renko bricks. And sometimes the historical accuracy isn't as detailed as Renko on platforms like TradingView. Still, it's great for visual clarity and manual decision making. Let's walk through a quick example using SPY on a Renko chart, and we'll apply two exponential moving averages to help identify trend direction and entry signals. First, let's add the 50 EMA to the chart. Click on Studies at the top right. Select Quick Study, Moving Averages, Moving Average Exponential. A green EMA will appear on the chart. Right-click it to open the Settings window. Select Edit Study. Change the length to 50, update the color to blue, and click OK. Since default is green, we want a different color so we can easily distinguish it from a new one when added. Next, we'll add a 20 EMA for crossover signals. Go back to Studies, Add Study, Moving Averages, Moving Average Exponential. Now a second EMA appears, right-click it. Select Edit Study. Set the length to 20 and change the color to red, then hit OK. Now we've got both the 50 EMA and 20 EMA overlaid on our Renko chart. This gives you a cleaner way to spot trend shifts and potential trade entries. You can use simple setups like Trend following entries when price stays above or below both EMA. Crossovers where the 20 EMA crosses the 50 EMA. Or support and resistance zones drawn from historical Renko highs and lows. Renko helps reduce the noise and makes these patterns a lot easier to see, especially when combined with moving averages. And that's a quick walkthrough of using Renko charts in Think or Swim. If you found this helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Renko trading content. That's a wrap on today's breakdown. 
Thanks so much for watching. If you found this helpful, give it a like and hit subscribe for more Renko Trading Insights. Don't forget the bell icon, and I'll see you in the next one.